Hey guys, welcome back to Hinchback Tortoise Central. This is Tom and Weston's with me and I just got home from work and Weston actually called me on the way home from work and what did you find? The Blondie uh, laying in a nest. So Blondie, who just laid a nest like two weeks ago, is laying more eggs. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully she's okay. Hopefully she gets those eggs out and lays more. And but this would be her third clutch. Awesome. Pretty amazing. Cool. Well, thanks, Weston, for finding the nest Welcome. and telling me all about it. Yeah. And we'll eat dinner and then go down and check her and see how she's doing. What's crazy is that she laid eggs two weeks ago. And if you remember in the last video, I actually said, hey, this tortoise is walking around a lot. It's kind of like she has to lay eggs. So guess what? She did have to lay eggs. I'm looking at her. She's just working. They kind of incessantly rock back and forth. So she did have to lay eggs, and that's just kind of crazy. I uh, wasn't expecting it, and it's just a complete and total surprise. Okay, looks like she finished. Good morning. So guys, I'm back. Um, it's about six o'clock in the morning the next day, and she has finished building that nest. I'm going to give her a nice soak and then we'll look to see if she laid or um, I'm assuming she laid eggs and how many eggs she laid. Let's hope that this is all the eggs for the season and she's uh, going to be nice and healthy after uh, that egg laying session. Hey girl, how are you? soak. Oh yeah, she's going right for the water. You know, they work so hard and for so long. Um, they need water. I will also give her Oxbow Critical Care, which is a mix of uh, finely ground grasses and lots of electrolytes to help get her rehydrated. So now we're ready to excavate the nest. She made a mess with her cage. Look at that, that one is laid like straight up. Oh guys, wow. I feel two more eggs in there, that's crazy. Oh, I see. there are three more eggs. That's just nuts. That one's laid almost straight up too. You can see how deep things are here. Okay, 
that's gonna be it. Four eggs means this turtle has laid 14 eggs since November 27th. Wow, you are just an awesome, awesome egg layer. Who would have ever thought this girl who I got in June and was grossly underweight and very, very dehydrated would lay 14 eggs this season. Wow. Absolutely incredible. So the next thing I need to do is build an egg box. And I just take these plastic containers, put very small holes in the sides, I even put a couple holes in the top. So we'll get this stuff called Hatch Right. It's perlite and polymer water crystal. It's not cheap, but I've been very successful using this. So we'll finish up this bag. Looking for is about two inches of hatch right. Get a pencil. I'm going to mark the top of each one. I'm going to brush that excess stuff off. You can see that these eggs are not white. They're kind of pinkish or like slightly salmon colored. That means they have not yet shocked. And what shocking does, although I don't understand the physiology behind it, the egg will turn white from top to bottom. And we're just getting off the debris and that makes it easier to candle the eggs later on. the eggs about halfway into the hatch rate. I'm pretty glad I got another incubator. Okay. So today's date, I believe is the 22nd. The 
so each egg gets marked with the name of the animal, a dot to demarcate up, and then the date they were laid. BL is Blondie. So here are the two incubator setups, and we're gonna put this one into the mostly empty incubator that has five more of Blondie's eggs, and we'll start working on it and see if they hatch. Thanks for doing a great job this year, Mama. You're awesome. So the last part of our video is gonna be giving her some, giving her her food. And what this is, is Oxbow Critical Care Zoomed Forest Tortoise and several different dried plants from Cabadolo Farms. And we're gonna, and dandelions, and we're gonna give that to her. Look, she's already at her plate. Like, uh, where's my food? So here's your food, girl. Yeah, go get it. That's not where it is. So we got some mulch fluff. Let's make a nice flat spot for her to eat. There, there you go. There you go. There's your food. You want it? There she sees it. After a little help and encouragement, there she goes. And the lights just came on. So that's what I want to see. Make sure they're eating and drinking right after they lay eggs so that they can replenish that energy and nutrients and uh, protein and all the great things that they need to be healthy. So thanks for watching. Join us next time for another Hingeback Tortoise Central video. Go Hingebacks.